Competition is the whetstone that sharpens ambition and spurs the will to succeed. So when I was around six, seven years old, I played baseball for like two years. And I'm grateful that my parents actually put me through like a bunch of different sports when I was young. And like that was a really good experience for me. And but the thing with the baseball league was that our team was not good at all. I remember we weren't, we didn't really do anything. But I do remember still getting a participation award at the end. Like, okay, you were trash, but here you go. Here's your award. And I notice a lot of people who think that, oh yeah, you should be getting a participation award. You know, all that matters is having fun and doing this. And, you know, at least you tried. Really agree with that concept of awarding everybody just for trying. I think as a man, at least when you grow older, you know, maybe for a kid, I'm thinking about if you're a man or if you're just even a teenager, I think competition will drive you to become the best. And competition is absolutely necessary to become the best. And I know we live in this soft little era now where, you know, you should only be competing against yourself. You know, that's all that matters. And you sh who cares? By no, I, d I don't agree with that at all. Let's look at like Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. I'm sure that they always wanted to compete against themselves, right? It's important to want to be better than the lesser version of yourself. Always. Should always be competing against who you were before. No matter what. Obviously, this is true. I won't lie about that. That's true. That should be your focus. Always being better than where you were before. But do you think that these guys became the best just from that mindset? Or did they become the best because of how much they competed against everyone else that was around them as well? It's a combination of the two. It's not just having that one mindset. Oh, as long as I'm better than myself, then that's okay. No. You can't have that mindset alone. You need to also understand that you want to be the best at what you do. So when it comes to business, when it comes to sports, when it comes to like an art, the competition is what's going to drive you to become the best and excel. And actually like it will stimulate some sort of innovation in your brain when you want to become the best, when you want to become better than where you were before. You actually have other people that are trying to also be the best and you're also trying to be the best. This is what's going to make you become even greater than what you could have been if it was just you versus you only. Now the you versus you is an important aspect aspect as i said before you are better than where you were before which is great this is something that you need to have in your life but if it was just me i wouldn't be as good as if i had like two other people who were trying to compete against me or 10 other people who are also trying to become the best what it is like for for youtube for instance if it was just me i don't think i would ever like really try to learn different ideas do it maybe maybe i would just so i can get better for myself but i know also when i see other people and they're also trying to become the best like i'm also trying to be the best i don't have this mindset of oh i just want to take part and i just want to have fun i want to take over the whole fucking thing you know i want to actually take over and win that's the mindset and listen if you're somebody who's you're not around anyone else who is trying to become the best this is why i created that school community it's the first link in the description go join right now it's where you can have a group of men who are like-minded to us and want to actually strive to become the best at whatever it is they do and so by joining you're able to meet other people who are good you get all the proven methods that have helped me and are helping me in my life to get better a whole resource library of any articles books podcasts anything that i've learned i'll put it there and i really think it's just a, the best place where i can put everything inside and it's free literally if you're the first part of the first 50 people to join go click on the first link in the description right now and join i think an important part of competition is that there's going to be times when you hit a roadblock you hit a something that's kind of hard to overcome but when you actually find a way to win when you find a way to be successful when you find a way to get over that hump it just builds up that self-esteem when you keep getting better and better and better not only versus yourself but you keep getting better compared to the rest of the competition you keep getting better compared to everyone else around you and you learn a lot about who you are you learn a lot about how other people operate as well and you're bound to just learn lessons about life you're bound to just become more wise also as time keeps on going confidence all these things that are so valuable to you in your life this is what you need but it's been beaten out of you to think to yourself yeah competition is bad it's just me it's just you versus you that's it that's all that matters like, i shouldn't try to compete against other people you need a healthy version of competition that's what you need you probably do need a slight bit of machiavellianism not to the extreme where you're willing to do anything like kill people and do all that to win you probably need a like a, a bit i think these certain traits that are seen you need you need a little edge about yourself to win you do you know if you don't agree with me that's fine that's fine but i do think you need some slight bit of machiavellianism like i said not to the point where you're willing to kill people to win you need a slight bit of it you, you do need some machiavellianism but you need to be at the point where you can control who you are it's like you're you're a savage 
or you're like a warrior, but you're under control. You know, you have all these things that you want to do. You know, you're super ambitious, but you're not like out of control. You're disciplined. You have self-control. This is an important part as well. So just think about it. Just think about what I said. Think about everything that you've been programmed to think in your life about how competition is not good or whatever, but really give it some thought. You want to be the best, right? Even though people tell you that, oh no, it's okay just to show up and just be okay. And no, no, no. You want to be the best at what it is that you do. Remember as a kid, when you had those dreams about certain things, like for me, for instance, it was like, I wanted to play basketball, but I didn't want to just be some mediocre bench player who was, oh, I'm just making money. So I'm okay. Like, that's fine. No, I wanted to be the best. I wanted to get all the accolades. I wanted everything. It's always a super ambitious part of me, right? You need to have the ambition. Be honest with what you want. This is important, super important. So be honest with yourself and stop lying. Stop being a little soft pussy ass bitch, bro. Just be honest with who you are. Maybe you don't want to be the best. Okay, that's fine. Then this is not for you. But if you are someone who does, who has a lot of ambitions in their life, then this video is definitely for you. Make sure that you go check out the school community. It's the first link down in the description. Go subscribe right now as well. And last but not least, never waver from the past.